We are about to take few examples to solve three-dimensional problems using trigonometry. Now before that, let's understand bearing angle with the help of this example. A ship sails on a bearing of 0 70 degrees for 10 kilometers, then changes direction to a bearing of 150 degrees for 15 kilometer. Find the distance and bearing of the final position from initial position. Now what is bearing angle? It is an angle which is measured from north in clockwise direction. So let's sketch the figure which represents this situation. So we have a ship that sails on a bearing of 170 for 10 kilometers. So let's say that is our axis that represents north for us and let us say this represents east-west. Right? Now when we say that ship is sailing on a bearing of 70 degrees it means from north clockwise angle is 70 degrees that much angle is 70 degrees right now if that is 70 degrees then ship is sailing in this direction for 10 kilometers so, so let us say this represents 10 kilometers for us that line so that is what it says right and that is how it is to be represented on a two dimensional plane. So when I draw axis like this which is like vertical it's a two dimensional plane right x and y axis. Now in this as you can see here we have an angle of 70 degrees from the north and this distance is 10 kilometers. So let me write 10 kilometers here. Right? Now the next statement is then changes direction to a bearing of 150 for 15 kilometers. So again let's make this north-south direction here kind of an x-y axis. y representing north. Now changes the direction to 150 degrees that means this time again from north the angle should be 150. So that is 90 plus 60 so more than 45 right. So it is 150 is 30 less than 180 that angle so that angle becomes 150 degrees let me write down 150 degrees here that is the angle and now the direction has been changed and the ship moves in this direction for 15 kilometers that means a line which is slightly longer to this that means one and a half this right so let's approximately drop it let us say this is our line and that is the final position. I hope you understand how we have sketched it. So let us say the original position is A, right? And then we have a position B from where the ship changes the direction and lands at point C. Okay, so this is your final position. Now we need to find the distance and bearing of final position from initial position. So what we need to find here is A to C. So let me join A and C. That is what we need to find so that we don't know. right? So let us call this as X. We know B to C is 15 kilometers for us. So that represents the situation. So this is first thing you need to understand. Remember when we draw this axis, it is always pointing towards north and bearing angle is clockwise from north. So that's how we get these angles. Now to solve this triangle, we know two sides. So if we get this included angle, then we can use cosine law and find x. So that is first thing which we need to find. And the second thing is, we need to find bearing of final position from initial also right so that is the other thing which we need to find so bearing of final position from initial means from a how is c located so from north if you see that is the bearing. so this angle also we need to find that means 70 plus how much will give us bearing from a to c so these are the two things which we need to find okay now let's start with solving the triangle itself which we have. So when we say that this angle is 
70 degrees, then these two lines are parallel lines, correct? So if these two lines are parallel lines, then that angle should also be 70, correct? So let me show this. So this angle is also 70, right? So I'll write 70 here. These are alternate angles, correct? Now, how much is this angle? This angle is 150, take away 150 from 180, right? So this angle will be 30 degrees. Perfect? So that is 30 degrees. So we know the angle now, correct? Since we know the angle, then we can apply cosine law and find AC, the value of X, correct? So cosine law says the X square is equals to, or AC square is equals to, square of these two sides, add them up, which is 10 square plus 15 square minus 2 times product of these two sides, which is 10 and 15 times cosine of, cosine law, 70 plus 30, which is 100 degrees. So if you do, do like this, you don't even have to remember what is cosine law. At times I have seen students struggling to learn all these, but this is a simple way. Cosine law is used when? Only two conditions, SAS or SSS. All three sides given or two sides with included angle. So that is when you have to use cosine law. So you can use your calculator now and then calculate this answer. So x will be equals to square root of all this, correct? So let's use calculator and do calculate this answer. So it is 10 square plus 15 square minus 2 times 10, 2 times 10 times 15 times cos of 100, cos of 100 equals to, it is 377.09. So it is, so I'll do square root of 377.09. And then we do square root equals to and get 19.418. 19.418. Nine. So let me write three decimal places now, right? So we'll just write three decimal places and now we know x. So one part is done for us. The other part is to find this angle. How to find this angle? To find the angle, what we can do now is use sine law. So let us say that this angle for us from here to here is theta, right? So we can find theta using sine law. So we will use sine law now to find the angle theta. And we know x. x is 19.419. I have purposely made it four decimals to get more accurate answer. But when we write down our answer, in this case, we'll round them to whole numbers. So, okay, maximum one decimal place. It is not mentioned here. So we'll do one decimal place or whole number. Okay, so sine theta, you want this angle. So we'll put this on the top, that is sine of theta over the side opposite, which is 15, equals to known angle, which is sine of 100, equal to the opposite side, which is 19.419 for us, right? So from here, theta is equals to sine inverse, right, of all this, so 15 divided by 19.419 sine 100. Normally, you should do four decimal places to get accurate answers, okay? So we will do sine inverse, second function, sine inverse within brackets, 15 divided by 19.419 times sine of 100, bracket close, equals to. So we get 49.52. So let me write down here, theta is 49.526. So I'll write 49.5 degrees as the angle theta. Now we know theta. So what is the bearing? Bearing from north, if you see, is 70 plus 
49.5 okay so we'll say bearing of Seventy plus theta, right? We have seventy degrees plus forty-nine point five degrees, which is equal. So let me add this up. One hundred and nineteen point five. So that is our answer. Now we can write down our answer, and our answer is find the distance and bearing. Distances. 19.4 19.4 kilometers on a bearing of 119.5 degrees so that is how you have to solve these questions so let's look into it how we really solved it so when a, when you are given a problem especially with bearing angles draw x and y coordinates y pointing towards north bearing of 070 means 70 degrees clockwise from north then sketch your diagram and if you know two sides and included angle use cosine law to find the third side now if you know the sides and the angles then to find the other angles sine law can be applied apply sine law get the other angles and then write down your answer as required so i hope with this you understand the method and now let's move on to three dimensional applications and let's see how to use trigonometry to solve them thank you